got the opportunity of, fully enough, meeting Abramovich for the first time at Old Trafford in a semi-final for the European Champions League when he came and watched Madrid, which is his first ever football game. And the day he bought the club, he asked me to have dinner with him and we talked about joining Chelsea. It's not something I thought about. It wasn't, again, something I'd, I'd planned. But what I saw was probably the biggest opportunity in European football. So when I joined here, I was biting the bit to get stuck in. Um, and really, you know, the, the first part of the job was assessing what we got. If I'm being honest, I think uh, after the first week, I didn't feel Ranieri was up to the job. Uh, having been around a winner like um, Ferguson, um, Ranieri certainly didn't come into that class. So we embarked on uh, looking for a new manager. Tough task. We came up with Jose Marino. And this guy was different. I kind of uh, found out almost like everyone else, to be honest. I was with England. I was in the hotel with the uh, lads. I'd heard whispers, but was amazed at the, uh, the entrance. I have to say this. Don't, please don't call me arrogant, because what I, I'm saying is true. I'm European champion, so I'm not one of, of the bottle. I'm a, I think I'm a special one. <laughs> the way he, he speaks, the way he looks, the way he philosophizes <laughs> in a press conference was all very new. <laughs> You've got to remember that English football had been dominated by Alex Scott and Wenger Frenchman, and uh, here we had. You know, our own special one who was, you know, did it differently. After the moment uh, I, I won the Champions League, I felt uh, I need another country, another challenge, and also another, another culture.